This is how to sync your Obsidian notes with Google Drive. There are three things that you need. You need Google Drive on your phone, assuming that you're going to use a phone, or maybe if you're using a PC, you need a PC with a Google Drive app on it, and another device with a Google Drive app on it. So in my case, I actually have to download Google Drive here. There we go, it's downloaded. Now I'm just going to run it and install it. All right, so after you've installed Google Drive onto your PC, what you're going to get is when you open up Explorer and go to this PC, you will get your drive right here. You will actually be able to use Explorer to open it. So just open it and then click on My Drive. And right here is where you can paste the folder that has your Obsidian notes. This is it. I'll just refresh so it's all neat. And then on your mobile device, go to Play Store and search for Auto Sync for Google Drive. And then install that. And then click Open when it's installed. Now you have to agree the license agreement and you have to let the apps access your storage. Just click OK and then check the Allow Permission. Consent and then connect to Google Drive. And then you're going to have account options. I will select this one. Okay. And then you're going to click allow. And then I just got a notification here and I will click on that and click on yes, it was me and done. And this might take a bit. And for some reason, I just had to restart this app and it immediately connected the next time I clicked on the account that I want to connect. And then after you've connected your Google Drive, click on choose what to sync and then let me create my own folder pair. Now folder pair name, you can just put Obsidian here, then click on remote folder in cloud storage and then my files and then rando which is the folder that I put onto my Google Drive from my PC and click select and then click here. And right here, you can then create a new folder, maybe in documents and call it rando as well and click select. And there we go. The sync method, if you want, can be two way. That's the best. This means that whatever changes you do on either device will apply on the other device. And there are some more options here which you can check if you want to, depending on what you want. And for example, I want to include hidden files as well. So I will uncheck this. And then when I'm done, I'm just going to click save. And I'm going to allow notifications as well. And it's warning me that I'm not connected to a Wi-Fi, but that is fine. So I will click yes. And there we go. The sync is done. We can open folder as vault and just select that folder that we have just created and use this folder and allow. In the top left, click on expand and then click on rando. And there you have it. 